What's up out there, YouTube? Double D here with Tournage Dubois. Welcome back. Today we got a little fun project I've been wanting to work on for a while, kind of percolating in the old noggin. Really excited to try this. So I've got this piece of what I believe to be uh, some curly maple and some dice. And I want to make a bottle opener with dice inside the handle, cast in resin. So this is going to be a project that's going to take me a few days. For you, you're not going to see all that. So uh, lots of really spontaneous outfit changes as we go through this process. But we're going to take this up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece down to where it will fit inside one of my handle blank molds for casting. Then I want to stabilize it, so we're going to dry it out in the oven, stabilize it. Then we're going to cast it with the dice on the, on the piece of wood so that we have something nice to glue the, uh, the piece to that will fit onto the stop to the bottle opener piece. So. Without any further ado, let's get to it.
everybody, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that project from start to finish with the cutting of the pieces, the stabilization, the casting, the gluing, the turning, and then the finishing part. So, had a lot of fun. We have our stabilized maple bottle opener with the red dice. Um, casting clear resin with the resin clear coat with the Ruth Niles bottle opener on it. Works really well, you just hold the bottle. Catch the bottom of the lip with this, put this on the top of the cap, pops it right open. Super easy to use. So I did this nice red one, but I'm not one to just do one at a time. So I actually did two other ones. I did one with purple dice. Uh, really happy with how that one come, came out as well. Obviously things aren't exactly centered, but that's okay. None of the dice were cut into, so they are a whole. And super happy with that one. And then I also did one that is purple with purple and blue dice. So. Uh, it's kind of fun how the dice faces seem to shimmer a little bit, maybe have a little reflective quality, but then when you turn it, it's just the regular color. So it's just how the resin solidified up on there. Super happy with how these turned out, though. Uh, all three of them work really, really well. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from that process. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Contact me, whatever. Uh, happy to answer any questions I can, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it the thumbs down. Either way, leave those comments, feedback down below. I appreciate it. That's how I grow as a creator and make sure that I am entertaining you guys with what we're doing here. So if this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun. Share this with all your friends and uh, we'll catch you next time.